had a fantastic barbecue competition today. We had 35 teams out. We raised a lot of money for the Boy Scouts uh, to go to camp and buy tents and, and backpacks and all sorts of things like that. Uh, the 35 teams, we uh, uh, did uh, the traditional three categories for barbecue competitions, which are chicken, ribs, and brisket. And uh, we also did what's called a jackpot, uh, which is winner takes all on uh, dessert, uh, beans, and fajitas, beef fajitas to be specific. And um, we just had a great time. It was hot, and uh, but uh, everybody, you know, just went right through it, and we had we had a blast. We are releasing a new uh, product line of meads. These are 100% gluten-free beer alternatives. These are hopped meads to various forms. They are, they're light, they're dark, they're, they're amber. Uh, they're designed as uh, uh, an alternative for people that have either celiac disease or really just trying to uh, avoid the gluten intake. Uh, you can still go out and drink at your favorite bar and hang out with your friends, except now uh, you have the option of having St. Michael's. Uh, we have our uh, St. Michael's Be Hoppy, which is uh, uh, an IPA alternative. We call it an IPM. It's an Indian Pale Mead. There's no real such thing that exists, but it's as, it's as close as you're going to get to an IPA. Uh, we also have uh, uh, St. Michael's Be Light. Uh, it is a 4.5% four, four alcohol uh, mead. Uh, it tastes just like a, a, a nice light beer. Then we also have uh, what I call Amicus Amber. Uh, amicus is the Latin word for friend or friendly, which here in Texas, uh, if you're familiar with Texas, the word Tejas is where Texas comes from. Te Tejas means friend. Uh, so I kind of went with that. And it's a lovely little amber, uh, kind of a Belgian style. It's lagered. Uh, it's particularly smooth, and it's a really nice uh, alternative. So get it at your local bar. We have a grape stomp next weekend, and then we have one the following weekend. We do harvests out here and we allow people to come out and we put a bunch of grapes in the bin and we let you squash, them, squash some grapes. Now those grapes don't end up in our wine. Uh, modern day foot care is, is, is probably not even as, as good as it was in the, in the past. But um, uh, the grapes we use are, are, are put into compost. But we'll have a grape stomp, we'll have lunch. Uh, we'll t you take your feet out and we'll, you step on a t-shirt and actually have a, an imprint uh, showing that you actually did the grape stomp. And, and, uh, uh, it's it's a, a, a throwback to how wine was made throughout the centuries.